Hey guys, with the new release of Warzone 2, I'm going to be going over some ways you can maybe fix it from crashing and not working, because I know some of your guys' games probably don't work anymore after you update it, and all that sort of crap. So, first thing I'm going to go over is, you go to search, type in GeForce Experience, and this is where all your games and drivers will be. So, in the bottom right, you can actually see GeForce Game Ready Driver is available. So, go under Drivers. And under here, you want to click download. You always want to make sure you have the latest driver whenever you're playing big games like Call of Duty and that sort of thing. So make sure you download that and then express it. And then it's going to kind of restart your computer and then you should be good after that. So that's just one way. Another way, I'm going to go back to search and type in graphic settings right here. It's going to pull this up and you want to go to browse. And then from here, you want to actually find your Steam folder. So if you don't know where that is, go to Steam, go to your library, find Call of Duty. You can go down to properties, then local files, then browse. And then at the top, you can kind of see this is where I find the Call of Duty folder. So I'm just going to find that now for settings. So it shows I have it under, shows that I, on, I have it under my E drive, Steam library, so on. Right here, Steam Apps, Common, and then find it. It's gonna be Call of Duty HQ. So make sure you got that. Find it's either gonna say COD or it's gonna say COD.exe. And you just wanna click on that and click add. And after that's done, it'll be on the list right here. And then you wanna do options, and this is gonna pop up, and you wanna click high performance and then save. So now COD is gonna be running at the best performance it possibly can. I'm just gonna set it back to what I had it. And then the next thing you want to do is, you don't want to leave this yet. I'm actually going to right click on it and go down to properties and compatibility. And the next thing you want to try doing is run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8. Now, this might make it, I'm not saying this might fix it, like it, there's a small chance it does. But this is just one of those things you can try, and if it still doesn't work, I would immediately go back and turn this right back off. Because if that's on and that wasn't the problem, it could just create more problems for you, if that makes sense. So, just make sure that's off and if it didn't work. And then after that, you can just click Apply, and then OK. And then another thing you can try is right-clicking on it and Run as Administrator as well. And the last thing I'm going to be showing you is go to your library again, find COD, go to properties, and then you want to go to local files, and this one's very important, make sure you do v verify integrity of game files. Pop-up's going to come up, just say yes, and let Steam just completely verify all the files, and then after that's done, you want to also restart your computer. So if you try all these things, just make sure you restart your computer afterwards. But yeah, that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope some of those things may have helped you let me know in the comments below i'll try to help out as many of you guys as i can if there is something that you know didn't work still and you're still trying to find a fix i'll try my best to help you out so leave a comment below and yeah have a great day everybody